find videos ranging from booktube videos, lots of books, book talk, reviews um, to be read, and my wrap-ups for the month. And then I also do like little free library hunting videos which seem to be kind of popular on my channel so if you've come from any of those videos thank you so much. Other stuff that you'll find on my channel is beauty, lifestyle, thrifting, fashion. I love all those things. Sometimes I throw in a little bit of paranormal and like ghost stories and stuff like that because that's something that I also find super fascinating. This channel is just basically everything that makes me happy and if it makes you happy please consider subscribing and liking this video. For today video I'm gonna be covering some May to be read because I to be honest just pulling myself out of a reading slump last month when I filmed my April to be read which was like whimsic gothic vibes I had a lot of Alice Hoffman I think I threw in like the X hex kind of like halfway to Halloween vibes almost because I love Halloween and I do a series called Mollyween on my channel during like September and October so you already know love Halloween and if I get a chance to celebrate it I'm going to. I didn't get to any of those books. Um, I started reading Bridget Jones's Diary at the end of March and or beginning of April and then I just stopped reading. It's just how it goes sometimes. Some months are better than others. You know March I read a lot of books and then I just kind of fell off. So today I'm going to share with you just a few books literally four that I think are going to help me get out of my slump because they are shorter and I think once I finish a book it will give me that drive to keep reading more books. I always feel so accomplished and I'm getting into Bridget Jones. I set up my hammock for the first time yesterday. It was so beautiful out. It was my first time setting one up ever so it was super fun and I just went ahead and started reading my book and I got through a few chapters and it felt really good. These are some books I hope will help me get out of that slump and if you want to continue watching please do. So I started reading a few pages of Dead Until Dark which is the first book in the Suki Stackhouse novels or like the Southern Vampire Mysteries. There is a few names, the True Blood series. I watched True Blood last summer which feels like literally three weeks ago. It's crazy how fast this year's gone by. Loved the series. I finished it in like a month and a half. It's so good. Granted there are only 13 episodes a season and there's like seven seasons so I think I did okay but I loved the show so I know that I'll like the books and I sat down and I was we actually just got new carpeting in this room and then in my bedroom so I had to take all of my books out. I unhauled a few books and I'll walk through that in future videos on like what it was like to unhaul books because I have unhauled books in the past for little free libraries but this time I decided to sell some to half price because I found some old textbooks. Going through all that I found a lot of books that I forgot I had. I started thrifting this like whole book collection last summer and I finished it in the fall. I'm so excited to read these. I wanted to start them this summer so I read a few pages because I found it in my bookshelf and it's really good so I didn't want to put it down but I did just because I'm reading another book and I didn't want to overdo it by reading two at the same time. I used to do that and then I just get super caught up in one story and then I forget what's going on in another so this one I'm super excited to get into. It's about Suki Stackhouse and she's a cocktail waitress in a really small town. I think it's Louisiana. Basically vampires came out of the coffin and there's like this synthetic blood that the Japanese have come up with and that's why vampires felt like it was safe for them to come out because they could drink the synthetic blood and not human blood and freak people out. There's a lot of mythical stuff that happens in this town because vampires like Vampire Bill he comes into town and Suki is like hands down infatuated with him like on first appearance she's like 
I want to know him. My first vampire, like, so cool. And it, go it goes from there. So I'm really excited to read that and see how it differs from the series. Next up, I have The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. I've never read any of Nicholas Sparks' books before. I used to have The Last Song, but I actually I think I donated it. I went through a bunch of my books um, when I wasn't reading books. Super weird. I went through a phase where I just, like, was not reading anymore at all. And it was a long phase. It was a couple years, to be honest. I found this one, and I didn't know it was such a short book for such a great movie. The movie always makes me ball my eyes out. Hands up if it does the same to you. But it is only over a couple 200 pages so I think this will be a really really quick one for me and I want to get into his books because I really want to read Safe Haven. I have that one and I have the lucky one. So I'm hoping that I like this one so that I'll continue to read his other books but I am excited about that one. It's about the love story between these two people and if you've seen the movie, I think the book is pretty similar, but I'm sure that there are differences. I held this book a while ago, actually last year, and it's Neil Gaiman's Coraline. I love this book. I actually never had a copy that had this cover art. Mine was like the one with the half like lit up face with a candle. And I read that three times when I was in fourth grade. I could not put it down. It's such a good book. This is always going to be one of my favorites. The movie is amazing as well. And this is like, I think marketed as like a mid, like kids, like young teen book, but it's really good. And I think this will go by fast because I already know what happens. And um, there's only a couple chapters. It's literally right under 200 pages. So this one is definitely one that I'm going to reach for. I found it on Mercari. So if you're trying to look for books, definitely check out there and you can get some goodies. The last book that I'm hoping to get to this month is The Secret Life of Bees. I was surprised I didn't have this book yet. I found it at a little free library. I was filming a video and that will be coming out probably Wednesday. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But it's super vlog style. Nothing super spectacular, but I was just getting back into filming for the first time in a, in a few weeks. Week, so it was a little strange but it was good and I went to some new libraries I've never been to before and this one was like super wet and so this book has a lot of water damage but I set it in front of a fan and let it fan out and then I put books on top of it to try and flatten it out a little bit but yeah it's like ripped along the back here so that got taped up by the previous owner I've heard of this movie and I've never thought to think that it was also a book so yeah it's set in South Carolina in 1964 and tells the story of Lily Owens. She has a blurred memory of the afternoon her mother was killed. And I think that she has this like stand in mother and it just kind of goes through that. And I just, it sounds kind of like a mystery. So I'm not gonna read too much about it because I just wanna surprise myself and see what it's like upon first reading and not reading the synopsis. But it's such a beautiful copy, even though it's a little tattered. I'm really excited to read it though. Excited is the word that I like to use when I'm getting ready to read books, but there's so many that I'm looking at right now. I have two bookshelves um, full of books, actually three, and it's crazy to see like all the books I have, and I'm really excited to get into reading the rest that I have on my physical TBR. But yeah, that's what I plan on reading this month to get myself out of a slump. Hopefully I get through a big chunk of these. I'm going on like a road trip and a few travels and stuff this month, so I think that might help me get through some of these. Thank you so much for watching and if you have ever been in a reading slump which I'm sure you probably have let me know what helps you get out of it because I'm willing to try new things thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next one until then shine bright bye